Discard already? I'm 80. I'd like to live long enough to see the next hand. Don't need to, Ma. Gin. Uh, you're taking advantage. You know I'm whacked out on blood pressure medicine. Honey, if the medicine bothers you, change the prescription. I like being whacked out. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. My date's brother just came into town, and unless I can find a date for him so we can double, why, well, the whole evening's gonna be called off. So what do you say? Would you please, please be a friend and go out with him? Sure, I'm game. <laughs> Next time, Sophie. Dorothy, what do you say? Oh, honey, I'd really love to go, but as you can see, I'm busy. Busy? You're playing cards. Well, we are not playing cards. We are playing gin rummy. And she stinks at it. We've been doing it for 30 years. She hasn't beaten me once. Yeah. Tonight's going to be different. Tonight, the 30 years of humiliation ends. Ooh, I'm so scared. My dentures are chattering. <laughs> Hi. Oh, Rose, honey, are you up for a night on the town with two handsome, eligible bachelors? Oh, thanks for asking, but I don't think so. I'm not that interested in dating anymore. Now, you know that's not true, honey, or you'd let your hair go natural. <laughs> you know what my problem really is? I'm spoiled. I had a long and wonderful marriage with the perfect man. Everyone seems so ordinary after Charlie. Honey, it's just for dinner, and Charles would want you to eat. <laughs> oh, Rose, be a friend. If you don't go, I can't go. I know I'm going to regret this, and I know I'm going to have a miserable time, but I'll go. Oh, that's the spirit. I'll go call the boys. Rose, why do you look so depressed? I'm tired of going out and not enjoying myself. All the men I meet at so old. Last week, I went out with this man that talked for two hours about his prostate problems. <laughs> I lived in Minnesota for 51 years. I never even heard of a prostate. Honey, they don't have them there. It's too cold. <laughs> Dorothy, you should be going on this date. At least you'd have some fun. Nothing could be more fun than beating my mother at cards tonight. What's the name of the game? Jim. <laughs> Dorothy, what's the matter? Something wrong? That thrill of victory! The agony of defeat. <laughs> I don't know why you play cards with your mother. It just makes you crazy. You're absolutely right, Blanche. This has gone on far too long. Mom, I am not playing gin with you anymore. You'll be back. You know why? You're too competitive. It's always been your worst feature. <laughs> Actually, your ears are your worst feature. <laughs> But competitive is right up there. Do you believe that? No. I always thought your bony feet were your worst feature. <laughs> Nighty night. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You haven't told me about the double date. It was a complete disaster. Oh, you mean Rose and her guy didn't hit it off? Oh, no, they got along just great. It was my escort who turned out to be the dud. <laughs> Next time, I'm gonna date both brothers before I give one away. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I hear you had a great time tonight. It was the best. I haven't laughed so much or acted so silly since I was a teenager. Uh, you know what we did? What? We ran a toll booth. Oh. Arnie said he just did it because it was there. Oh, he is the most...